What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ezzy from the Spotlight with Ezzy and the Ezzy B Radio Show. All right. So I'm doing this video because I recently talked about this on my social media page and on my radio show, the Ezzy B Show. And I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach because of what I just witnessed on the television and all over social media. Now, someone just passed away as media people as producers as media outlets media houses what is the justification of bringing up someone's past while the families are grieving i don't understand and to gail king and cbs and all his other media platforms that are out there who are trying to defame the Lakers and the NBA legend Kobe Bryant for the sexual rape charges. How low can you go? Let's take a look. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, please go get that girl or tell her or send her this. Mm -hmm. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Mm -hmm. Kobe's, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it though. As his friend, you wouldn't see it. And that's possible. Mm -hmm. I just, it's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying things didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I just don't believe that things didn't happen with force. Is it even a fair question to talk about it, considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved? Or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful. Um, at this time, it, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy. I mean, he went to, it went to trial. Yeah, but the case, is, it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to testify. Now that is what media or mainstream media is about. We cannot continue to do this especially to our people and shout out to Lisa Leslie for standing her ground maintaining her composure and not being defensive because you know what it would be someone like me I let the raster I let the dredge down and say some crazy ish you know what I'm saying but she represented well she spoke highly of Kobe and of course they had a great relationship a great friendship and that's what we should do, especially in the time of death. But I'm going to leave it with this. If you like what you see here on the Spotlight with Ezzy, make sure you subscribe to our channel, Ezzy Spotlight. Like us on the social medias at Ezzy Spotlight. Or log on to the website at EzzySpotlight.com.